Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So, are developers getting screwed? Are the entry-level jobs gone because of AI? So, recent news, we heard that Meta is firing a new batch of people. I think, what, 5% of the workforce, something like that. So, uh, should you be nervous? Is it, is it the end of software development? No, not at all. We're just seeing an, a realignment in the software game. Because I'm an ancient nerd, uh, 169 years old, I've seen this happen before a few times where new technology comes in and replaces things. People know my channel, know what I'm going to tell you now. I've seen it before. For example, even the web itself, web development was a disruptive technology back in the 90s, the mid-90s to late 90s, where traditional thick client development got replaced by web development. And all the traditional developers were having kittens, were freaking out, and there's that's the end of development. And it was the end of their development. It took time, took a few years for this to roll out. But it was not the end of development. The job just shifted. What you had to do just shifted. I have to be honest with you. The people out there on YouTube and other platforms dooming and glooming about the death of software development, it's pretty clear to me and other experienced devs that it's not, uh, these people are not experienced developers, if they're developers at all. Yeah, newsflash, a lot of the YouTubers out there who claim to be experienced developers, not, they're not, they're not. So why do I say that? Because if you have any real experience in development, you know that the coding aspect of it is just a part of it. It's just a part of it. This elimination of boilerplate code writing that AI is going to facilitate and speed up, it's just making developers far more productive. That's all it is. This movement away from writing low-level boilerplate code, again, I've seen it happen a few times before, and it's just... The same type of thing. You have to look at the AI, the AI as being a new layer of technology that you have to learn about as a developer. That's why I'm talking about it more and more and more. So, for example, if you are a PHP developer, backend PHP developer, you just have to look, use AI in your own coding processes. You're going to be much faster. But you still have to know how to code, right? You still need to know what you're looking at. AIs make mistakes. They will be making fewer and fewer mistakes over time, but they still hallucinate over the simplest things, right? So you still need to double check all the code the AI is writing. Number one, you got to know where to start. You got to know what to prompt it, what to ask. You got to know how to place it, how to, to design it. Now, the AI can speed up in that process, but again, it's not perfect. So to answer the basic questions, are developers getting screwed by AI? No, we're seeing, again, to reiterate, we're seeing this natural progression, this change. In the process, they're going to be letting go of people who are doing the old stuff, replacing with the new. So even in the meta job, the meta uh, shakeup, they're basically replacing a lot of low performers. That's what they said in the article. I think it was on Forbes or Reuters. And the meta people were saying they're just replacing they're replacing the low, uh, the people are not very good. And, but they're also bringing in AI developers to uh, do what they need to do to, to jump on the next phase of things. So yeah, developers are not getting screwed. The industry is just evolving as it always has. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of development uh, I have a mentoring program. You check it out at UncleSteph.com. I have soon a business and entrepreneur, entrepreneur mentoring program that's coming out. So right now I have my traditional code-based mentoring program slash boot camp with my interactive training platform, live group coaching sessions, and a whole bunch of other good stuff. And now I'm going to be releasing, because of demand, my business-oriented I'm not going to call it a boot camp. I'll call it a mentoring program and consults. Uh, it's about business in general, but I have a strong background in developing technology businesses. 
taking them to market. So if you're interested in that, that's going to be available very soon. All right, thanks for watching. If you uh, disagree with anything I say in this video, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like my hat, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my hat, give me two thumbs down. And um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you, you know what to do. Bye.